Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the intersection of traditional craftsmanship and modern technology. In today's video, we're going to show you a really exciting woodworking project that combines the natural beauty of wood with the precision and versatility of digital fabrication tools. Digital woodworking. The project we're tackling today is a stunning serving tray or decorative wall piece made from a single piece of wood. But what makes this project unique is that we're going to be using a CNC router to carve out a captivating geometric design right into the wood surface. CNC, or Computer Numerical Control, technology allows us to take a digital design and translate it into precise, automated cutting and carving on a variety of materials, including wood. By leveraging this powerful tool, we can create intricate patterns and shapes that would be incredibly difficult, if not impossible. To achieve through traditional hand carving methods. Selecting the wood. To get started, we'll need to select the perfect piece of wood for this project. We're looking for a hardwood with a beautiful, even grain, something like oak, maple, or walnut would work beautifully. The wood should be free of major knots or imperfections, as these can interfere with the CNC carving process. Once we have our wood blank, we'll need to carefully measure and prepare it for the CNC router. This involves squaring up the edges, ensuring the surface is smooth and marking out any key reference points that will help the CNC machine carve the design accurately. Designing the pattern. Now comes the fun part, designing the geometric pattern that will be carved into the wood. We'll be using a CAD, computer-aided design, software to create a digital rendering of our desired pattern. This could be anything from a simple repeating shape to a more complex, abstract design. The key is to keep the pattern visually interesting, while also ensuring it will translate well to the wood medium. We'll need to consider factors like the wood grain, the size and proportions of the piece, and how the carving will interact with the natural characteristics of the material. CNC carving process. With our design finalized, we'll load it into the CNC router software and set up the machine to carve the pattern into the wood blank. The CNC router will precisely follow the digital instructions, carefully removing material to create the desired geometric shapes and lines. This is where the power of digital fabrication really shines. The CNC router can achieve levels of detail and precision that would be incredibly challenging, if not impossible, to replicate by hand. We'll watch in awe as the machine brings our digital design to life in the physical world. Finishing touches. Once the CNC carving is complete, we'll carefully inspect the piece and sand it down to ensure a smooth, uniform surface. Depending on the desired look, we may choose to apply a natural oil or stain to the wood, further enhancing the grain and texture. Finally, we can decide how to best showcase our stunning, one-of-a-kind woodworking creation. Will it be a functional serving tray, a decorative wall hanging, or perhaps even a unique centerpiece for a table? The possibilities are endless. By combining the timeless beauty of wood with the precision and versatility of digital fabrication tools, we've created a truly remarkable piece of woodworking art. This project demonstrates how technology can enhance and elevate traditional craftsmanship, opening up new avenues for creative expression. Material selection. In addition to selecting the right type of hardwood for this project, we'll want to pay close attention to the quality and characteristics of the wood blank. Look for a piece that is free of major knots, cracks, or other imperfections that could interfere with the CNC carving process. The grain should be relatively straight and even as this will help the geometric pattern stand out. Design Considerations When creating the digital design, we'll want to consider the overall size and shape of the wood blank. This will help us determine the scale and proportions of the geometric pattern for optimal visual balance. We may also experiment with different motifs, such as repeating triangles, intersecting lines, or abstract organic shapes. It's a good idea to create several digital design variations and preview them on a mock-up of the wood blank. This will allow us to fine-tune the pattern and ensure it complements the natural features of the material. CNC Programming Programming the CNC router to accurately carve our digital design into the wood will require some technical expertise. We'll need to carefully set up the machine's cutting depth, speed, and tool paths to ensure a clean, consistent result. It may be helpful to do a test run on a scrap piece of wood first, allowing us to make any necessary adjustments to the CNC settings before committing to the final project piece. Finishing Techniques Beyond the basic sanding and application of a natural oil or stain, we can explore additional finishing techniques to truly make this digital woodworking project shine. For example, we could inlay contrasting materials, such as brass or copper, into the carved geometric shapes. 
This would create a stunning visual effect and add an extra layer of depth and complexity to the design. Alternatively, we could experiment with various texturing techniques, such as light brushing or distressing, to give the wood a more weathered, artisanal look that complements the geometric pattern. Versatile applications As mentioned in the initial script, this digital woodworking project can have a wide range of applications, from a functional serving tray to a decorative wall hanging. We could also explore using the carved wood piece as the centerpiece of a larger furniture item, such as a coffee table or sideboard. The beauty of this project is its flexibility, the geometric design can be scaled up or down to suit different size requirements, and the finished piece can be customized to fit seamlessly into a variety of interior design styles. By blending the timeless craft of woodworking with the precision of digital fabrication, we've created a truly unique and captivating piece of art. This project showcases the exciting possibilities that emerge when traditional methods intersect with modern technology. Sourcing the CNC router Before we can tackle this project, we'll need access to a CNC router. These specialized machines can be found in many local maker spaces, woodworking shops, or even some high schools and universities. Alternatively, you may be able to find a service that offers CNC milling and carving as a paid service. If you're interested in pursuing digital woodworking more seriously, it may be worth investing in your own CNC router for the workshop. These machines have become more affordable and accessible in recent years, allowing hobbyists and small businesses to bring this powerful technology in-house. Designing in CAD software When creating the digital design for the CNC carving, we'll be using a computer-aided design CAD, software program. There are many options available, ranging from professional-grade applications like AutoCAD or Fusion 360, to more user-friendly tools like Inkscape or Canva. Regardless of the software you choose, the key is to become comfortable with the interface and basic 2D 3D modeling functions. This will allow you to easily translate your creative vision into a digital file that can be seamlessly imported into the CNC router's control software. CNC Toolpath Generation Once the digital design is complete, we'll need to generate the precise toolpath instructions that the CNC router will follow to carve the pattern into the wood. This process involves specifying the cutting tool size, depth, speed, and other parameters to ensure an accurate and consistent result. Many CAD.CAM Computer-aided manufacturing Software programs have built-in toolpath generation capabilities, making this step relatively straightforward. However, it's important to thoroughly preview and test the toolpath before committing to the final CNC carving. Work holding and fixturing Properly securing the wood blank in the CNC router is crucial for achieving a successful outcome. We'll need to carefully plan the work holding and fixturing methods to ensure the material remains stable and firmly in place throughout the carving process. This may involve clamping the wood to a sacrificial base plate, using specialized jigs or fixtures, or even applying a temporary adhesive to the back of the blank. Taking the time to set up the work holding properly will pay dividends in the final quality of the carved design. Post processing and finishing. After the CNC carving is complete, We'll need to carefully inspect the piece and perform any necessary post-processing steps. This may include sanding, cleaning, and preparing the surface for the final finishing touches. In addition to the oil or stain application mentioned earlier, we can explore other finishing techniques like waxing, lacquering, or even applying a protective epoxy coating. These extra steps will help preserve the wood's natural beauty and enhance the visual impact of the carved geometric design. Sharing and showcasing Once the digital woodworking project is complete, will want to share our creation with the world. In addition to the YouTube video, we can explore other platforms like social media, online marketplaces, or even local craft fairs and exhibitions to showcase our unique piece. Sharing the behind-the-scenes process and the story of how the project was created can also help engage and inspire others who are interested in the intersection of traditional craftsmanship and modern technology. Conclusion By delving deeper into the technical and creative aspects of this digital woodworking project, we've uncovered a wealth of exciting possibilities. From sourcing the CNC router to perfecting the finishing touches, each step of this process offers opportunities for experimentation, problem solving, and artistic expression. Remember, the key to success in this field is to approach it with a spirit of curiosity, patience, and a willingness to learn. With the right tools, resources, and a bit of creative flair, you too can unlock the incredible potential of merging digital fabrication with the timeless art of woodworking. We hope this video has inspired you to experiment with your own digital woodworking ideas and explore the boundless creative potential that lies at the heart of this intersection of craft and innovation. Remember, the only limit is your imagination. We hope this expanded script has provided you with even more inspiration and practical insights to help bring your own digital woodworking dreams to life. The only limit is your imagination. Thanks for watching. 
and we'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting!